This is Professor Rich Hartel from the University of Wisconsin, and he makes and destroys candy. So what's the best part about making candy? Uh, I get to blow stuff up. With a hammer, with a microwave. Come to think of it, Rich Hartel just plain loves candy. He loves it so much, it's actually his job to teach people about it. That's right, he's a candy professor. Hartel teaches college students all about the chemistry of candy. I mean, most people look at candy and say, where is the chemistry behind it? But it's all through it, right? So chemistry is a bunch of molecules come together, and how you bring those molecules together uh, is what determines the quality of, of the characteristic of the candy. Almost all candy involves sugar. It's the backbone of anything sweet. And using chemistry, Professor Hartel can morph sugar into just about anything. We can take sugar, just a simple molecule, and by how we process it, we can make candies that are as widely different as rock candy and cotton candy. You can also take existing candy and make it do crazy stuff. I think the benefit of knowing chemistry as you make candy is that you understand what's happening and then you can control things to get what you want all the time. Professor Hartel likes to do an experiment called Peeps Jousting. Don't try this at home, kids. These are peeps with uh, toothpicks inside, and what we're going to do is put them in the microwave. We're going to heat them up, and as the, the gas in, inside the marshmallow expands, it's going to cause them to come together and pop each other, or pop one of them, and we'll have a winner, hopefully, in this peeps jousting competition. He also uses liquid nitrogen, which is more than 300 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Watch what happens when the professor dunks a couple of peeps in. Again, really don't try this at home. And then, fun, right? Through these experiments, Professor Hartel teaches students about the power of chemistry. So when you take a bite of your favorite treat, you can also think about what you want to be when you grow up. You know, you could be an astronaut, you could be a doctor, uh, but you could be a candy scientist as well and understand and play with candy uh, through knowledge of the chemistry. And just for fun, one more time, 